Landing Zone X-ray, Central Highlands of South Vietnam. American soldiers, men of the 5th and 7th Cavalries, commanded by then Lieutenant Colonel Hal Moore, face off with elements of the People's Army of Vietnam and a battalion of the National Liberation Front, the Viet Cong. X-ray presented an array of problems for Moore's troops, small helicopter landing zones, tall elephant grass, and a massive surrounding enemy force familiar with the terrain and unafraid to die in large numbers. Shortly after touching down and without the full strength of his troops, Moore's men came under heavy fire. His men were attacked day and night. The fighting was fierce and close in, sometimes hand to hand. Moore's troops were also at a disadvantage due to a unit that became separated early on. It was not until very late in the battle at X-Ray that the lost platoon, having sustained a great many casualties, was finally recovered. The intense battle brought out true courage and compassion, as well as concrete displays of soldiers' love for one another and their country. This valor and loyalty was also exemplified in the helicopter crews that supported the men on the ground at landing zone X-rays. When medevacs refused to land in the hot landing zone, where they were needed the most, Bruce Crandall and his seasoned team of pilots flew into the fire to transport the dead and wounded out of the small clearing. Countless lives were saved thanks to their bravery and selflessness. Later, the same pilots brought in much-need personnel reinforcements and supplies. These daring and selfless acts among the men at X-ray were commonplace during this first great battle of the Vietnam War. The courage under fire displayed by the American soldiers at X-ray was a reflection of their leader. Hal Moore, a veteran of Korea, was the first man off the choppers at X-ray and the last man to leave that bloody clearing. His instincts and presence of mind during the midst of a ferocious firefight further cemented him as a battlefield legend. To this day, West Point recruits cite Moore as one of their heroes, one of the men they most look up to. When the fighting ended at landing zone X-ray, 79 Americans had been killed in action, 121 wounded. Numbers that pale in comparison with the thousands of North Vietnamese casualties inflicted by Moore and his dedicated troops. Just after the conclusion of X-ray, American forces were ambushed on the way to landing zone Albany. This violent attack caught them off guard and culminated in staggering casualties that left men reeling. Shortly after the bloodshed at X-ray in Albany, America, citing a victory, scaled up its involvement in Vietnam. Though the fierce fighting in the Ladrang Valley concluded over 40 years ago, the American forces who fought there remain legends. Lieutenant General Hal Moore and journalist Joe Galloway co-authored and published a book in 1992 which tells that story. We Were Soldiers Once and Young was made into a movie starring Mel Gibson as Moore just a decade later. The service their work has done to the soldiers who fought and died in Vietnam has been extraordinary. No longer were those who served there portrayed as outcasts and misfits they were now men of honor, as great as any generation of Americans prior or since. Lieutenant General Hal Moore is an exemplary military man. His courage, unflagging respect for his soldiers, and efforts in telling the story of La Drang rank him among the greatest of America's battlefield heroes.